it's thank you hello friends this video on playing with numbers part 35 is brought to you by examfear.com no more fear from exam so now is the time when we look at the applications of HCF and LCM that why have we studied why have we learned how to find HCF and LCM so let us look at a very common problem let us say that there are three boys who step off together from the same spot they start from the step same spot their steps measures 63 centimeter 70 centimeter and 77 centimeter respectively so let us suppose the three of them they started from some point a so the step of the first boy is 63 centimeter one step of the second boy is 70 centimeter and one step of the third boy is 77 centimeter now we have to find out the minimum distance each should cover so that they all can cover the distance in complete steps that means what is that minimum distance where they would meet basically where the same distance that they would cover such that they can complete it in complete steps complete steps means two steps five steps ten steps it shouldn't be like two and a half steps or 2.1 steps so not that of that kind so they should be complete step whether it is 10 step 20 step 100 step but they need to be complete step so let us assume that they meet or they they cover this much of distance so they cover the minimum distance that they cover is AB. So if we assume that, in that case, it would mean that since they need to complete the distance in complete steps, that means AB has to be, so that this entire distance AB, this has to be a multiple of 63, 70 as well as 77 so basically the value of a b should be a common multiple of 63 70 and 77 now in the question it has been asked that they we want to find the minimum distance that means we want to find out the minimum common multiple so what is minimum common multiple minimum common multiple is nothing but lcm so we need to find out LCM of these three numbers and that would give us this distance AB. So let us find out LCM. How would we find it out? 63, 70 and 77. So which is the minimum number? So let's start with 2. So 63 is not divisible so it will remain as it is. 35 this would again remain as it is. Now when you look at these numbers most of them will get div divided by 7. So 7 9 is a 63, 7 5 is a 35 and 7 11 is a 77. Now let us start again from the smallest number. So let's say 3. So 3 3 is a 9, 5 will remain as it is, 11 will remain as it is. Now again let us do it with 3. So 3 1 is a 3, 5 will remain, 11 will remain. Now if you do, do it with 5, so this would be 1, this would also be 1, this would be 11. Now we do it with 11, so this would be 1, 1 and 1. So here we would stop. So basically what is the LCM in this case? LCM is equal to 2 into 7 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 11. So this would be the LCM. So this would be equal to 2 7 is 14. 14 into 3 is equal to 42. So 42 into 5 into 3 15 into 11. So 42 into 15 into 11 comes out to be 6930 centimeter. So this is the minimum distance that each should cover. Let us look at another scenario where we make use of HCF or LCM. Let's say Renu purchases two bags of fertilizer of weights 75 kg and 69 kg. So here you have two bags of fertilizers, one is 75 kg and the other one is 69 kg. Find the maximum value of weight which can measure the weight of the fertilizer exact number of times. So that means you have these two bags. Now you want to measure these two bags. So you want to measure these bags in multiple number of times because you know the, the weights are like very heavy. 
right so you have to find that value of weight so you will not have a weight of 75 kg right you generally have weights of 1 kg 2 kg 5 kg 10 kg like that so what is that maximum value of weight which can measure the weight of each of these fertilizers exact number of times that means let us say that if let us assume that the maximum value of this weight is x we have just assumed it let us say it is some x kg which we have to find out that this question basically means that x should be a factor of 75 that means 75 should be a multiple of x because it says that the weight of the fertilizer sh should be measured exact number of times. So let's say it, we have a weight of x kg. So if that x kg weight is repeated some 5 times or 10 times or 15 times then we should be able to measure 75 kg. What does that mean? That means that 75 should be a multiple of x. Or in other words, x should be a factor of 75. Correct? This is the meaning that 75 should be multiple of x or we can say that x should be factor of 75. Not only that, x should also be a factor of 69 because we have to find out one common weight which should be able to uh, weigh both the both the bags, the 75 kg one as well as the 69 kg one. So basically we are looking for the value of a weight which is a common factor of 69 and 75. Now we want to find out the maximum value of that weight because we might have multiple common factors between 75 and 69 but we want the maximum value now since we want the maximum value therefore we basically want the highest common factor so we basically need to find out hcf of these two numbers so see this is the trick of solving such questions first you know to understand the problem what is it looking for so here in this question, the main catch or the main concept lies here that when you say that you need a weight such that by using that weight a few number of times, exact number of times, that means you will either use it 10 times, 5 times, 3 times, 4 times, not 4 and a half or 2 and a half or 10 and a half. So exact number of times so that you can, you, if you use that weight, you should be able to measure 75 kg. That means that X value is a factor of 75. The x value is actually a factor of 69. This is the catch. So please understand this. Spend some time, think about it and understand it. That here in this question, x is a factor of 75. x is also a factor of 69. So x is actually a common factor of 75 and 69. Now since the question says we have to find out the maximum value of the weight, that means we want to find out the highest value of the common factor, that is highest common factor or HCF. So let us find out the HCF of 75 and 69. So we will find it by prime factorization method. So for 75 this would be 3 into 25 then this would be 5 into 5 and 5 ones are 5. So 75 can be written as 3 into 5 into 5. 69 3 into 23 and then 23 into 1. So 69 can be written as 3 into 23 into 1. So here which is the common factor? Common factor is 3. Therefore highest common factor will be equal to 3 kgs. So a weight of 3 kgs should be able to measure both the weights exact number of times. So how many times? In how many times this 3 kg will be able to measure 75 kg? In 25 times because 3 into 25 is 75. So exact 25 number of times it should be able to measure 75 kg. How many, in how many times 3 kg will be able to measure 69 kg? It will be able to do that in exactly 23 times because 3 into 23 is equal to 69. So see, this is how we make use of HCF and LCM. So please just do not... Uh, Learn the method of finding LCM and HCF. Understand the problem. Try to understand what is the concept of using HCF. What is the concept of using LCM? And then try to solve the questions. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.